CSX operator has been has to be used when both high impedance value and unknown X in any bit has been treated as ground K during the case comparison. So what they are trying to say is uh, when both high impedance and unknown bit is it will take that thing as a ground K. Okay, in case comparison, in case Z, it treat Z operator as a ground K during the case co case comparison. Okay. Now in the in both the cases the bit which that are uh, which that are treated as don't care will not be considered for comparison that is only the bit values other than don't care bit are used for comparison you're getting what is this so okay okay Okay, so in both the cases, the bit which they are treated as don't care will not be considered for com comparison. That is, only bit value other than don't care bits are used for comparison. Okay, so the wild character this can be used in place of Z literal numbers. We'll see this X. Now, K is equal to in one. Okay, so suppose how it will compare then? So it will not take this bit in. Com comparison it will only compare this and this so what results so so they are telling same as condition as 3 tick 0 1 0 and 3 tick 0 0 0 for the both the condition this will execute coming to this okay is that clear and right same for all the things yeah second one okay 3 tick uh, right no, it will not take that thing in it will it will not take Z into comparison in comparison Z into comparison and Z yeah it will take X into com cons consideration that only they are trying to say see the case Z operator treats Z operator as a don't care during the case comparison it will not take X as a Actually, uh, usually I'm, I have not used any KZ or KSX in my coding, okay? But usually people will say KZ is much more comfortable than KSX, okay? We'll s actually, both are not preferred, okay? Usually, we should go with the normal case coding only. But in some time, they they told that they can go with KZ expressions, KZ and KSX expressions in some scenarios. But it's better you always code with case. Okay. Uh, no, maybe uh, because I have seen many priority encoders, they will code with case Z only or case X only. Uh, okay. If we go for eight bit priority encoder, right, right. That time you cannot get yet half also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I am seeing many example with uh, priority encoder, they coded with case X and case Z usually. Okay. So that's why I can't give you a real time example because yeah. I have not never used this case X and case Z in my code. Okay. But uh, just uh, I read these things uh, that n then only I can explain. <laughs> case X and case that we usually will use in case of priority encoding. Okay. So the same example if written with if, if else tree would look like this. So nothing. If you write with the if else tree, what is the answer they are telling? Not of in one and two. And see, only they are comparing uh, second bit and. 0th bit x they are not taking into com consideration okay so using case x or case z in the following coding uh, following coding advantages okay it reduce the number of lines especially if the number of bits have been more as you explained that if 8 bit priority encoder you are telling okay makes code look like uh, look more clear and less cluttered okay so you they are telling that you can code priority encoder with if else also right it's better you code with this uh, your uh, code is not much cluttered okay mm -hmm. simplifies the optimization as it clear that the bits with x are to be ignored 